Ah, uh, yes, just cleaning up the house here. This is uh, perfectly fine, folks. Yes, we're finally doing it. Uh, the garage is getting clean. I've actually been working on it a little bit. Uh, I've done some slight sorting, so I'm not going to make this episode all about cleaning because I'm not sure that would be the most entertaining thing. So yeah, we're still working on the build to make the car the original manufacturer spec, uh, which that's going to be a thing here in the future, but today I've got other plans. So as you can see in the top left corner, I've been a busy bee. We've been taking some nice old maple syrup over, and we've been taking some of our parsley over to the dealers. And, uh, yeah, we've amassed quite a bit of money, so I think it's time that we uh, complete the road out here. And then today, I think we're going to slam this truck down and uh, try not to make it look too hideous, but I feel like it's still going to be better than the squatted truck that we did. Oh my goodness, I have nightmares about that thing. But yeah, we'll do that. I'll continue to sort out the garage, and then next episode, we should be able to take this on as a uh, full-blown project. We're still debating on the color. Uh, you guys had a lot of feedback on the last episode, but continue down below. Gray, black, or white? Uh, let me know down in the comment section. It's been a great time if YouTube still let us run polls on our video, which that's not even a thing anymore. It's kind of a weird thing they took away from us. Also, look, I moved the vehicles and stuff. Uh, there's not as much trash out here. I actually parked most of them around back, uh, so it looks pretty good. Now, if only I can clean my house. By the way, hit that thumbs up button for some more Mamba Zul. All right, let's make sure I got the right uh, number here. Seven, six, two, three. Okay, making the call here. Let's finish this road up. So apparently I'm gonna need Francis' help. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's two. Uh, we received, uh, it's done. Wait, what do you mean it's done? Wait, did Francis pay for a part of it or how did this work? Kind of weird they told us that, but then I, I don't know if like, what, what was Francis going to do here? By the way, I might've been calling him Martin last episode. I'm not really sure. Well, we need to put this on at some point, huh? Maybe we'll put it with the slam truck. That is a hideous bumper. Can we at least, uh, de-rush that? I might need to run up to the store. But yeah, I'm going to continue to slowly clean this uh, shop up. And by the time we do the actual build for the original manufacturer, this thing's going to be squeaky clean in here. And uh, we'll be able to actually have a nice workspace uh, to be able to put this thing back together in. Should just need the drop, right? Eight inch drop. I've got two of these, I believe. So I just need two more for the other side. Uh, so let's go ahead and put those back there. Yo, Roger, I'm going to need a couple of these uh, rust repair kits, too. We got some rusty things. You know, I've got a weak, uh, I think it's a caliper. So is there an OEM caliper in the game? You've got the performance one here. If we were to change that back, like, I don't want to use the weak ones unless I can de-rust them, but I don't think that's actually good. Uh, I need to look around. That might be a thing somewhere. Also, I need to buy some bolts. Do we have some plain-looking bolts? Uh, I guess gray would be... Well, actually, maybe black. Yeah, let's go ahead and use black bolts. All right, so I need more of these. Uh, I told you guys we were going to clean up the bolts on the uh, the old BMW, so let's grab those and grab those. All right, so I think we're good. Let's head back home. Uh, and, yeah, I'm going to try to see if we can de-rust that bumper. Oh, paint. We got to paint something here today. We're going to drop the truck down, so I think we got to make it look as funky as possible. So maybe like a neon green. Oh, I want this thing to be, like, really... Actually, that's kind of a color. Oh, let's go, like, really bright here. There we go. Nice. All right, throw that back there. All right, let's get home. Also, I completely forgot in my YouTuber vision to point out the whole fact that, yes, the road has been paved. Hold on, I'll show you guys that real quick. I mean, we just paid $60,000 for it. Uh, we could at least look at it. Look at this. It's all nice and paved now. Uh, Francis, uh, I don't know what you helped on, but... Like, there wasn't that much road to pave. Like, the other side was ginormous. But I'm looking at this side going, Francis, like, what did you help me with? Like, you should have given me some money or something. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yep, the truck's brakes still kind of grab. It feels like there's a lot of brake in the rear in this truck. Like, when you hit the brakes really hard, the back end kicks around. At least it's all paved now. This is really nice. It'll be good for nice cruises uh, when we're driving that uh, original BMW. Also, I need to change the color of the garage. Uh, and the house. Uh, I think I need to get a permanent color. Oh, hello, Leo. Sorry. I told you to stay home. <laughs> Probably really should have moved this vehicle over. That way I could fit both of these vehicles in. Ah, it's fine. All right, so we're ready to drop this thing. I want to see kind of what this looks like. I guess we should go ahead and make sure we got all clean black bolts on this thing, too. And hold on. Let's grab that rust repair kit. Uh, boom. All right, we can... I mean, it doesn't look as bad now that you've cleaned it up. It's still a really odd bumper like <laughs> okay 
Uh, so real quick, where's one of those calipers at? So this is what I was talking about. This is a, it just says universal. Yeah, you can't use this on here. So I guess there's a OEM one out in the world, but question is where? Maybe the gas station's got it. Uh, I'm not really sure. By the way, I've thrown most of the original manufacturer parts over in this pile. So there is a rhyme and reason for my piles. I just need to get some shelves. This is all the uh, modified parts over there. Part of me, since we're dropping this, I kind of want to put these uh, universal custom wheels on there. I feel like they make a little more sense. Oh, we got an issue here. I probably should have bought another set of jack stands. Uh, yeah, that probably would have been a good idea, wouldn't it have? Oh, well, it's fine. We're just going to let the truck drop to the ground. Yep, we just let this thing drop down. This is how we work on our car now, uh, or truck. Let's put the heavy duties. These are the best uh, springs, by the way. Uh, I love these things, the heavy duty ones. Uh, okay, on, try to grab these. This is so hard to do without jack stands. I probably should just let the car drop down. Oh, can I slide these in? Will this work? Oh, I can. Uh, I don't know how I'm able to slide those back in, but uh, that works. All right, well, let's hook these in, and I'm going to try to at least elevate one side real quick. Okay, should we put these bad boys on there? Yes, this is going to look uh, probably not that great, but we're going to do it anyways. And look at me, I don't know if I have enough of these bad boys, but we are putting fresh black bolts on this. Uh, I'll need to buy another magnet tray and we'll get all these uh, all these rusted bolts out. Eventually, Komodo is not going to have any rusted bolts in his build. So I know there's a couple people that uh, comment and say, Komodo, please, uh, just change the rusty bolts. Oh my goodness, you could already tell this thing is slammed. Uh, wow. Okay, there goes that tire. Alright, that's what it looks like. You know... It actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. Like, I'm not really one for slam down trucks. I mean, it's way better than squatting your truck. But, uh, honestly, it's not bad. I don't think it's going to be good for being, like, a work truck. Uh, but, nonetheless, I mean, it kind of looks cool. Uh, especially, we'll swap that bumper. Uh, another thing I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to see some changes for the headlights. Like, I'd like to be able to change those out. Uh, I feel like that should be a thing. Also, we should totally get some tint. Uh, I'm not going to remove the... Uh, the tank in the back. So even if I don't swap over to the heavy springs again, I can still uh, use the uh, the tank for the sugar shack. But yeah, not gonna lie, it's not too bad actually. Hold on, let's go and paint it real quick. There we go, paint that. I really do wish you can paint the hood on this thing. Uh, so let's go with that. I think you leave the front blacked out, right? Uh, oh, wait, we can paint the bumper now. Uh, I don't think you'd paint that green, right? There we go. That thing is green. Uh, we're going to call it the Hulk. All right. Uh, what do we got here? I got some paint. Uh, let's try spraying this bumper real quick. Uh, this is like a black, isn't it? Okay, so we got that. All right, so we can put that on. Uh, I can even... Oh, I missed this little bit on the green. I ain't sure how I did that. There we go. All right, clean that up. All right, let's take this bumper off and let's get the... Uh, you know, it's not nearly as ugly. I mean, this is still a weird bumper, but let's go ahead and put that bad boy on real quick. Okay, boom. Uh, set this over in our bumper pile. <laughs> All right, and let's slap this on. What does this look like? Uh, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to let you guys decide here. Like, it's... I've seen worse. Uh, hold on, make sure I get the right bolts. So I'm going to put all black in. Uh, let's grab that one and that one. So, yeah, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you like? What do you don't like? Uh, let me know. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I think it actually doesn't look that bad. Like, I was picturing this was going to look way worse. Uh, but I'm actually kind of happy with the way this came out. So, boom, we got that in. Uh, I might would paint the interior a different color. I think I still got some black over there. There we go. I like how you can spray paint the interior of your truck. It's probably not suggested to spray paint the inside of these things, but hold on. There we go. Honestly, looks pretty good. All right, so I'm happy with that. Let's uh, let's see how it drives, why don't we? Come on, Leo, get inside. Let's, uh, let's take this thing out for a, a bit of a spin here. Yo, this is the thing. I, I kind of like this. Uh, I think we got to take a cruise up to the... The store, I need to go get some paints. Uh, I'm gonna experiment with different paints in the house. But yeah, I, I don't mind this at all. We're gonna take the long way because we like to cruise. Uh, as far as handling difference, I don't really notice much here. Uh, it doesn't feel, uh, honestly, that much different. Oh yeah, this is cool. <laughs> We're dragging a little bit in the back, it's fine. All right, let's pull up here. Roger's probably really confused. Like every time we pull up, our, our vehicle looks a little bit different. 
and it's only been just several weeks in game it's like stop modifying this well it's fine roger i do what i want all right so i know what i need i think okay i'm making more house colors so let's get a white uh and then let's get um if i wanted to offset yeah i'm gonna get another red uh, we'll see if, if we can experiment with the, like the stripe and stuff. All right, so let's put these out in the car. I still say we need a backpack system, like where we can carry like the small items. Uh, I feel like that would be actually really, really nice to have. All right, last but not least, I need a uh, another shelf from in here. Um, ooh, that table actually is kind of nice. Uh, what is this? That's a rim shelf. Oh, is it supposed to be upright? You know, I think I have that thing sideways. Oh, there's a bird bath. Wait, can I buy this? Oh, not implement it yet. That'd be kind of nice, actually, if we can get birds at the house. Okay, uh, I kind of need another one of these, so let's purchase this. This is going to be fun to haul home. Oh, yeah, it's really fun now that I don't have a full truck bed. Um, yeah, that'll work. Uh, that'll totally go home like that, right? Yep, this is going to be a fun crawling uh, to the house. Uh, we'll get there eventually. Hold on, Leo. It's going to take us a bit. We gotta go extremely, yep, this is really gonna take us a bit. Okay, I don't know where to stick, I kinda of guess we should stick this over on this side. We'll need to clear out a spot. Maybe this will be the modified parts shelf? Or actually, we could probably move this small table and stick it up against there. Got a bit of organizing to do, also we have our cans, hold on. I wanted to paint the house, so... If I paint this white, I kinda of like the white with the red stripe in it. Um, actually the yellow honestly doesn't look bad. Hold on, let's hit this one. Is this just one complete color? I think the house was originally, or the garage was originally white, wasn't it? Uh, okay, so we got that changed over. There we go. Alright, here, let's grab that red. I, I think maybe making the stripe red would be kind of cool. Ooh, the orange looks kind of cool too. Hold on, all the way. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's good. Yeah, I think our stuff's looking pretty professional here. Just gotta do some sorting out. Uh, hold on, I guess there's a couple things we can move in. Like, look at this. We could set the original uh, engine in. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, installing I need to do. So there's the intake. I'm still missing a part, am I not? Is it over here? Performance manual, the welded differential, uh, the intake with the individual throttle bodies. Yeah, I still think... Oh, here's the original one without the airbag. I still think I'm missing some stuff for this build. I need to get a parts list down. Because uh, I definitely don't think I've got everything. Okay, you are going to go over here. There we go. Uh, that looks about right. Probably should have got two of these things and got rid of this little shelf. Oh, yeah, here's the OEM uh, ECU. Uh, I definitely need to swap those out, too. So yeah, I'm still debating about all these like uh, adjustable parts in here. Like what can I switch out or what am I supposed to switch out? Uh, there's the ECU. Feels weird making this vehicle slow, but it's just the whole fact that you can make it uh, all original again. Uh, so let's remove this tuning and then boom, we'll stick this here. And then we can go ahead and start to uh, shove this all up on the shelf. By the way, these are some of the settings. I think I have my uh, traction control pretty low on the ECU. That's probably why this thing was out of control half the time. Uh, if we ever modify that back, we'll definitely have to change it. But look at us. We're actually getting some cleaning done this episode. Everybody's going to be happy down in my comment section. Like, look, there's a portion of the shop that isn't dirty. Also, we got to rip the spacers off, too. Uh, the original car didn't have spacers, so we got to take those bad boys off. Well, she's definitely looking a lot better. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions uh, for the build, we'll be doing that next episode. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below, and we will see you guys next time in Mombazul.